let's solve another problem using the partial quotients method and um, our dividend is just going to be a little bit larger than in the last problem. So our problem is 9697 divided by 23. Again, I'm going to start with a t-chart. Put my multiplication sign at the top of the left-hand column and my divisor at the top of the right-hand column. I'm choosing 23 as my divisor just to make it simple. So on the left column, I'm going to um, do my doubles. 1, 2, double 2, and I get 4. Double 4, I get 8. Double 8, I get 16. Uh, 23 times 1 is 23. Then I'm going to double 23 and get 46. Double 46 and get 92. Double 92 and get 184. Double that and get 368. Now I have to look at my problem and see how I am going to get as close as I can to 9,697 as possible. And in looking at my chart, I see that if I add two zeros and make um, 4, 400, 23 times 400 is 9,200. So 9,697 times 400 is 9,200. I write it here and subtract. 7 minus 0 is 7, 9 minus 0 is 9, and 6 minus 2 is 4. So I'm all the way down to 497. I'm going to look at my chart again and I see that I can change the 2 to 20 and 20 times 23 is 460. So I'm going to place my 20 here Again, 20 times 23 is 460, and I'm going to subtract, and I'm all the way down to 37. And 23 goes into 37 one time. 1 times 23 is 23. If I subtract, I have 14. 14 is less than my divisor, so I'm done with the problem. 400 plus 20 plus 1 equals 421. I have a remainder of 14. That becomes my numerator. Oops. Let me fix that. Oh, my marker doesn't want to work here. Let me switch. <laughs> Fourteen. And my denominator is my divisor, 20 thirds. So 9,697 divided by 23 equals 421 and 14 20 thirds.